Washington Redskins versus the Dallas Cowboys. My old buddy Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin brothers sing Take Me to Your Loving Place. But Texas Stadium is anything but that for opponents. The Cowboys are 15-0 in regular season games here. In fact, the last loss at this stadium is in 1979 when the Rams beat the Cowboys in the playoffs. Welcome to Texas Stadium. Hi, I'm Tom Brookshire, along with number 12, the great uh, Dallas quarterback, Roger Staubach. And Roger, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you think might be the weakness of Washington, the secondary. Uh, is Danny White going to go work right away up there, you think? I think there's some weaknesses in their secondary. Dallas has lived and uh, breathed on the big play to, to Hill, to Pearson, to Cosby, to Dorsett. They can throw against Washington's secondary. secondary. Also, the running defense of Washington has been really uh, behind a little bit the last four or five weeks, and the, the real fine running backs have run well on them, so Dorsett should be able to run against Washington also. You think also. he's a fine running back, do you? I classify him as a pretty good <laughs> running back. On the other side now, Joe Theismann has also begun to really move the football to a lot of different receivers. People like Art Monk and company. Uh, Obviously, the Dallas secondary is young and inexperienced. Uh, can they work on that other secondary? Well, you're right, Tommy. There's Monk. He's a fine receiver. Uh, Theismann really goes to a lot of different receivers. Monk is the big one, the key one. But he goes to Metcalf, to Washington, to Warren. They can really move the ball around. I think they're going to have a hard time running against the Dallas defense, but they should be able to throw against the Dallas secondary, Tommy. Okay, Roger. Mark Mosley uh, approaching the kickoff. The Cowboys obviously have won that toss. Jonesy back to take now for Dallas. It is a sellout, obviously. Late afternoon start, we're ready. Mosley's kick, and he gets a big hang time. It's going to be taken by number 30. Down to the 22 yard line, breaks a tackle, and gets out to the almost the 30 yard line. That's Newsom making the run back. Good field position on a very high hanging kickoff by Mark Mosley. Here's that offense, Danny White, the young man that replaced my colleague today. Tony Dorsett, the great rusher, perhaps one of the greatest of all time. Ronnie Springs, who can catch it coming out of there. And of course, the greats, Tony Hill and Drew Pearson. Up front, B.J. Dupre at tight end. Pat Donovan, even though he's he's got a few injuries, he's gonna play anyway. Herbert Scott, Rafferty, Peterson, and Jimmy Cooper at right tackle. Well, the Dallas is in pretty good field position. Normally, they like to start out with a deceptive, something where White can get a, maybe a quick pass or a draw. That's a quick screen. And poorly thrown. Here's the defense now that watches the first incomplete pass. Mendenhall at left end. Dave Butts, the big fellow that you've got to block. That'll be Peterson's job. Perry Brooks and Dexter Manley, a very, very good pass rushing defensive end. Dusik, Olkowitz, Monty Coleman, the speed guys, Coleman, and the secondary. The corners, Jarris White and Joe Lavender with Tony Peters and Mark Murphy, who is sort of their field general. That's the defense. We'll see what Dallas is going to do, Tom. They're in a second and ten, and normally like to throw, but with Dorsett in the backfield, they've run from this also. A toss back to Dorsett out of the eye. Oh, he's nailed at the line of scrimmage. A good tackle by number 52, who got in there very quickly, Olkowitz, the young man out of Maryland. Boy, Dorsett looked like he had the play opening up and then closed the door. It's early in the game, but that's the key for Washington. If they can pursue and stop Dorsett from cutting back and contain him, if you contain Dorsett under 100 yards, it's been uh, phenomenal as far as his record over 100 yards. They're like 22 and one, and he's a leading rusher in the NFL. So if they can contain him, Washington has got an excellent chance winning this football game. And the opening game, he had 132, his best effort ever against the Redskins in the opening day, huh? Here it is, shotgun time on third and call it 10. In motion is Butch Johnson coming back into the slot. White throwing and overthrowing, almost caught and then almost intercepted. Ball had two or three different hands through there, heading for Drew Pearson or Johnson coming across the middle. Excellent pressure by Dexter Manley that time. Maybe White, just out of the corner of your eye, you see those things, and he did get that ball too high. I think Manley had a little bit to do with that. Manley, of course, out of Oklahoma State, a rookie, a great pass rusher, and Donovan might not be 100%. There's Nelms, one of the great return men in either conference, and, of course, Danny White to try to kick it away and get about a 4.7 four hang time if he can on second. Boy, this is a good-looking kick. Nelms is driven back to the 25. 23 now. That's the way he gets away from one, two, get to the 31, and the Redskins will have their first offensive shot. Well, Nelms doesn't fair catch, as you mentioned last week when we were doing the Giant game, and that time he gave one little move on Benny Barnes. Excellent play by Nelms. 
the young man that we saw last week. Here's the offense. Joe Theismann, he can move in the pocket. Joe Washington, who does everything. Metcalf, Art Monk, and the two tight end offense we'll see, and Roger will talk about Don Warren and Rick Walker are in there at the same time. Jacoby, a young man who will give, uh, I believe, Martin a pretty good day. Grim, Bostic, Saul, and George Stark, the veterans, working on Ed Jones. There's Walker in motion, reverse motion by the tight end. The first handoff to Joe Washington, looking for daylight, gets not much, maybe a yard. Good play by Hegman on the line of scrimmage, held his ground. The boy Theismann has matured right before our eyes. The first five, he had all the stats and not much else. Jones, Dutton, who's playing with the bad thigh. Randy White, who plays despite anything else. And, of course, Harvey Martin, who's having a great year. Hegman, Brunig, D.D. Lewis, the veteran. Walls, Dennis Thurman, the young cornerbacks. Charlie Waters and Downs is also a rookie in there at safety. Monk goes in motion. The second handoff to Joe Washington. Harvey Martin making the tackle, gets to about the 34. It's gonna bring up the first third down for Joe Theismann. Looks like they're gonna test Dallas running the football. Washington, in this five out of six streak they've had, they've run the ball very well. They've had to, to mix it up and use a balanced attack, but I think they're gonna have a tough time running the ball against Dallas. That's their strength is against the rush. Last week was the first time they showed a problem there with Billy Sims, so maybe Washington saw something in that game, and they're gonna use Joe Washington today a lot more than, than most teams have tried to do running the football against Dallas. There it is, the first third down conversion for Theismann. The man in motion is Metcalf. Good blocking. Theismann unloads it. That's Art Monk with the ball over the 40. Almost to the 50-yard line. The young man from Syracuse can run. Anthony Dickerson making the tackle, but from behind. Well, the key uh, that time was hitting Monk four or five yards downfield, then Monk just on his own. The great athlete that he is made a move on Everson Walls. Right here, Theismann throws the ball short of the first down, but they have a lot of confidence in Monk. And here he makes a fake right, breaks inside of Everson Walls, and that, of course, gets the first down. Boy, Walls was really deep, though. It must have been respecting the speed too much of number 81, huh? First down toss back to Washington, trying to get to midfield and does and gets out of bounds into his own bench, chased by Dennis Thurman. You gotta be careful around the out of bounds lines with Dennis. He'll, you know, he'll ring your helmet a little bit. If they can get Joe Washington running the football, it'll be a big plus for him, but so far he's been shut down. I think he's, I think he's probably one of the most uh, elusive and the quickest running backs in the NFL today, Joe Washington. Would you have thrown on first down a little bit against the Dallas Flex? Would you think about that? Well, Dallas has definitely has a uh, tendency on first down to play the run very, very strong, and you can throw on them. But again, Washington wants to keep, keep their balance going, and they feel they have to run the ball today to be successful also. It's a second down and eight. Here's the drop back pass. Good time for Theismann. Uh, open receiver, Washington, makes two people miss and gets inside the 40 to the 36. Boy, he is a scooter. Well, here's what they do well. They hit the backs in the uh, in the seams, and here's Joe Washington coming out of the backfield. He's just looking into that zone where to turn out. He might turn out or he might turn in. He just finds an opening between the cornerback and the linebacker, Dee Dee Lewis, and he makes a few moves on his own with that quickness and, of course, gets the first down. Another first down, two in a row for the Redskins. Theismann has them going, one remaining back. That's the big fella. That's Riggins faking the inside. Theismann throwing on first down. Open receiver inside the 30. Walls makes the tackle. Boy, Theismann is setting up very quickly and looks like he knows what he's trying to do. Boy, well, he does a, does a good job that time. He just fakes out to Riggins, keeps the uh, uh, linebacker from zipping out to the cornerback. Didi's looking inside. He watched the run fake, so he doesn't get out to help Walls. That play action helped. Theismann threw a bullet out to uh, Metcalf, and again, it's, well, they're short, about a yard short of the first down. Everson Walls, the young rookie at left corner from Grambling, a free agent with 10 interceptions, but, boy, he's playing about 11 yards deep. Second down and short. Riggins is in there, the short yardage fullback, and he gets it outside. Riggins makes the first down, gets almost to the 25. Charlie Waters making the tackle. Riggins one time, Washington the next. That's a solo back, uh, much different in their styles and probably makes you tackle different different ways sometimes. Well, Riggins has really come on strong again in the uh, second half of the season. He missed last year, had a pretty good training camp, was in good shape, but he didn't have his football legs back. He's playing well now, and they're using him in and out. Last week against the Giants, of course, Riggins had a big day. Of course, Tom Landry is concerned. He's concerned on a 35 to nothing lead also, so you can't tell a whole lot from him. First down, man in motion with the tight end. Riggins gets tackled and dropped. 
as Michael Downs, the young man out of Rice, comes up and makes a good play from the safety spot, and I really like him. He's tall and he's young, but he's really had a great season. Well, that's quite a story here in Dallas. Michael Downs, a hometown uh, young man. He's got six interceptions this year. A lot of range in that secondary. Since Randy Hughes was hurt earlier in the year, that they needed someone to fill that gap, and Downs has done a good job. And Riggins is coming out, and again, Joe Washington's back in the game. What are you looking for on second down now in the college seven deep inside? Monk is a good bet again, or possibly to the tight end. Reverse action by the tight end on motion. Here's the draw play to Washington. Oh, what a good call. He gets to the 15-yard line. Well, that's what I was thinking right there, a draw to Washington. <laughs> really good. Well, that's what you get as a quarterback, trying to set guess. That's a good play. Excellent play. It's, it's a good draw screen play. I thought they'd throw the ball. They didn't. That's what they've done well. They've mixed it up, and they've got a back like Washington that can hit that crease, get in there quickly. Dallas had their pass defense in there, and it was a good play to cross them up. Bostic must have come over and taken Randy White wide. Bostic did an excellent job in that play. Pretty good young offensive line, but very young. Big left tackle, that's him. That's the young man that's... Jacoby that's working against Martin. Here's the inside handoff. Washington hit by Randy White, but gets forward. Pretty close to the 10-yard line. Almost got his head torn off by number 54. Walker, number 88, did a good job on Harvey Martin, and if anyone could have got to White, it would have been a big game, but Randy slowed him down, and that made the play. A 1-2-3 kick situation for Dallas, and the Redskins have taken their first possession, and there's only a little over eight minutes left in the first quarter. This has been some Washington Redskins drive. Second down, six. Tight end in motion, reverse motion. Washington behind him, gets outside, makes the person miss. Charlie Waters missed. He fumbles it out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Dennis Thurman stripping him of the ball. Well, the fumble may be lost a yard, but not much more than that. Uh, Waters did a good job. It looked like Washington had a lot of room. He breaks to the outside right there. He, well, of course, Waters missed him, and it really was Dennis Thurman that came up and did the good job, knocked the ball out of bounds. And Washington looked like he was headed for that end zone, and nice play by Dennis Thurman. Thurman is a heck of a guy, though. Move to the right corner spot, which is perhaps the worst in football. And he's such a competitor and such a hitter that he makes up for a lot of probably ability just with the hustle and banging, doesn't he? Yeah. A little guy, but he's strong. Third down four, the first crucial call in this ballgame in this first period. Heisman got some time throwing, almost knocked away by Thurman, heading for Metcalf. And Dennis Thurman made a do-or-die play in the end zone. That was a good play by Thurman. Uh, Heisman threw the ball pretty well. He was he was well covered Metcalf. Thurman almost intercepts the ball right here. He really didn't see it to the last second and then put his hand out. But Theisman led the receiver real well. Thurman uh, just did get a hand on the ball. Mosley coming in now. He's hit 10 of his last 15 field goals. And as we told you, 240, 48 and 49 to win the football game over the Giants a week ago. He's six for six from this area. He may not have gotten it. It is wide right, over the right, upright. And everybody does let out a cheer. Mosley misses the short one. A half wedge. There's no score. The Redskins had the momentum, and Dallas gets the football back. with Roger Staubach. No, that's, those are just two fans in the stands watching the tube while they watch the action. But Danny White will kick, and Mike Nelms, uh, perhaps the best punt returner in the world right now, is waiting for it at his own 41-yard line. This is an average kick for White. Nelms at the 42-yard line. He'll try to get out of bounds, and he's tackling a real good tackle by Benny Barnes. In, before he gets into... Cowboy territory. That's a good tackle. Excellent tackle. Nelms is number three in punt returns in the NFC and number one in kickoff returns. And if he could have got back to this right side without a tackle by Barnes, he might have had a lot of running room. Don't forget at halftime, back in Gotham City, the Big Apple, Brent and Irv with all of the highlights of another crazy football Sunday on CBS. All right. 1.32 left and two timeouts for Joe Tyson. Straight drop back. He's going to dump it to Washington. He does it to 50. Washington with running room. Makes three people miss and gets to the 36-yard line. Wells finally making the stop as little Joe went on a weave. I see the people laying in the wake. 
Yeah, two or three of them. Yeah. You know they're looking for him. You know, especially in that nickel defense, they're looking for him to come out of there. Where did he come from? He's short at 5'10". Maybe he went under somebody. I'd say Harvey Martin hit a, put a hit on Theismann. Theismann hung in there, got the ball to Washington. That was a big game. First and 10 pass play by Theismann. He hasn't stopped the clock yet. Washington takes it. He's going to get out of bounds. No, he's going to get as much as he can and turns it inside to almost the 15. Make it the 16. Walls will get on the tackle. And this guy can get you in a game in about four plays. I guess you can overdo it talking about an individual, but I, I can't overdo it. Uh, this guy is, he, he's, we've seen him time and time again, uh, week in and week out. When he's been healthy, he's been uh, uh, just the major ingredient in this offense, and today he's turning in some plays that are very, very special. 48 seconds left. Drive carefully. It's not hard to tell. Tonight's a special night for her and for them. But it doesn't take much to turn a night to remember into one they'll wish they could forget. Hi, I'm Drew Pearson of the Dallas Cowboys. And the difference between a special occasion and a tragedy can be a few drinks and a short drive. Teenage drinking is a problem you hear a lot about. But one place most teens don't hear enough about it is right here at home. All too often, parents find themselves unsure of what to say. That's where this free booklet, Straight Talk About Alcohol, comes in. It's published by the Education Commission of the States and the Distilled Spirits Council. The title tells you exactly what it's all about. Maybe you should read it now. Don't wait till it's too late. Write for your free copy to ECS, Box 687, Denver, Colorado, 80201. That's ECS, Box 687, Denver. Do it today. The CD message was furnished by the National Football League. And that was number 88, Mr. Pearson, who interviewed you the other night live. He's, he's in the communications, too, other than catching, huh? He's got a little show on Friday nights here in Dallas on the, on the sports. Yeah, it was a good interview, too. 48 seconds, one timeout left. The ball is on the 16-yard line of Dallas. Theismann can move him. Inside handoff to Joe Washington, who gets a good block inside the 10. Dutton hanging on. Thurman trying to steal the ball. Barnes in on the tackle. Washington, with that carry, will have over 80 yards rushing. He's uh, down right now. Uh-oh. And another 40-some-odd catching the football. He has 100 yards total offense at halftime. Well, he's doing everything. He's making the big runs. He's catching the football. Of course, they can't afford to lose him. Uh, Grimm, 68, does a nice lead block here. He's pushing, pushing people out of the way. Gets hit right in here and twisted to the ground and then popped a little bit by Thurman and something is hurting Joe Washington and hopefully it's not serious. Took a little thump uh, with a knee in the back and of course that worries anybody. He's got to be in good shape. He was kneeling in the huddle during that last time out but he had just made two fantastic uh, two fantastic runs after catching the ball and Maybe he's just winded, but it looks a little bit more serious than that. The last time out for the Redskins was burned. Don't forget next Sunday, Los Angeles at Pittsburgh. That's got to be one of the physical battles of all time. Washington at Buffalo, the doubleheader game. The New York Giants, the surprising Giants, with Bruner at the controls against San Francisco, Atlanta at Houston. So check your local listings. NFL on CBS. The crowd is very quiet. I'm surprised that the one timeout they uh, took before Danny White punted. I don't know what the reason was for that timeout, but it, it could prove uh, a factor here. Second one, they want to get the first down. They got 39 they, seconds, though. So they can yeah. stop it. He can stop it with a throw or anything. Uh, you take the timeout when, you're, when your bread and butter is hurt. Well, he'll have to call two plays, and Joe's up again, and I think he's going to be all right. Why couldn't, the official, why couldn't the officials have used one of their timeouts? Well, in a case like this, in the two-minute period, uh, you can't, can't get a timeout on the injured player. You've got to take it. And he's hurting uh, up around the rib area. I know it. Some player, he's only about 175 pounds, and, and that is ringing wet with a rock in the pocket. But some football player out of Oklahoma, probably the best number two draft choice that Bobby Bethard and Washington will ever use to get him from Baltimore. Okay, here we go. It's second down and one for the first down. And six yards for the touchdown. Ricky Thompson to the right along with Art Monk. Eisman taking his time. Going to the outside. He's got a touchdown. 
there's no flags. It's a good one. Touchdown. Well, that'll pick the uh, Redskins up. And Dallas mentioned last week what hurt them at before the half is when the uh, Detroit scored. It gave some momentum going into halftime. And here the Redskins uh, make a big, big play by a young guy they picked up, put on the roster last week. From Miami, I think he was with, right? Jacinto? That's right. Came in from Miami and dressed last week and scored a touchdown this week. What a big play to get. On the scoreboard with 35 seconds left. A great drive by Washington. And of course, Joe Washington uh, didn't get to see the last touchdown. Mosley's extra point. And there's a flag down. They're going to get roughing the holder or the kicker. Roughing the kicker, and they will be penalized on the ensuing kickoff, and the point will go up. And suddenly, it's a three point football game. Running to the quick kicker, number 27. Keith Eds, the point is good. Five yards on the kickoff. Talking to, here's the roughing right here. Mosley, this of course would be on the kickoff, and uh, Ron Fellows belts him. But we're we're watching down on the bench now. The guy I'm watching is the is the trainer, and here we got another look at the touchdown. I'm looking at the trainer though, talking to Joe Washington, because the key to this Redskin game right now is Joe Washington coming back in the second half. He's talking. He's standing up there. Uh, there he there is. we got a shot of him. Oh, I like that guy. He's Fort Arthur, Texas. You know, that's where he, Lincoln High is where he grew up. In fact, eight of the Redskins were born in Texas. The only, you know. I don't know if you mentioned, uh, Tommy, I was so excited watching down there, but he's run the ball 12 times for 84 yards. He's got three passes for 47. So it's not a bad first half for a Probably uh, an average player. day for him, but not bad for most people, right? That's a, those are good game statistics. Remember the Washington-Dallas series, though, and the greatest game I think I've ever been party to was the 35-34 thing a couple of years ago that you pulled out when Washington had the game for most of it, and Dallas came back and won the second half. So these games can go back and forth. It's never over, really, until the fourth period. Well, that was a game that, that swang from the very beginning about three or four different times, and uh, this history in this series has had uh, team just has not given up, but anything can happen in these games. A low kick taken by Newhouse at the 12-yard line. Robert Newhouse, who is loaded with energy because he doesn't get to play much, gets to the 25, and the Cowboys have 29 seconds. They're thinking a Septian field goal, I'm sure, or better if they can get it. You don't let the clock tick off now, do you, with 29? you try to get points? Well, they're at about the 25-yard line. If they had a, uh, they'll try a run with Dorsett, I'm sure, right now. And if he happens to break it, then they'll, then they'll probably throw the ball. But my guess is right now, they're not going to be in the shotgun. They'll be underneath the center. And uh, Dorsett will try to break one. And if they get 10 or 15 yards in the run, then they'll start throwing the ball. Okay, Roger Staubach, and he knows he's been in that huddle so many times. Seconds inside handoff. Springs makes a good move, gets almost to the 30. They might have fumbled down there. Perry Brooks made the tackle, and I think there was a second. I, I think Rafferty recovered a fumble down there. That's uh, that, that could have been interesting. The one thing that you have to be careful of, especially with the Redskins, how they've turned their season around, is that they've turned the turnover ratio around. They're going to let it go now, as Roger said they would. It's the Dallas Cowboys 10. The resurgent Washington Redskins seven. We're halfway through a football game that may have just gotten started. 